Hi everyone and welcome to my new video. In this video I'm gonna show you the improvements that I've done on my hobby project that I do in my free time. So it is not going to be a very long video so I'll go straight to the point and explain how it's done. First we'll see how it works and you'll, you'll decide whether you will continue watching. And after that I'm gonna share everything that I wrote, the schematics and the code so you will be able to do it by yourself so enjoy so let's see the project that we were talking about it is consisted out of an electronic part and an app that they created and published it on play store you will find the link down in the description so if you can check it out if you like so let's see how it works it is esp32 development board it is connected through spi communication with this MAX 6675 module that receives the signal from this thermocouple and converts it and amplifies it into a readable form so we can read it with our board and use it later. I put a threshold 100 degrees Celsius so when we meet that threshold our phone will alert that something bad has happened to the system when we need to react so let's see how it works i'll put the microphone here so we can hear the voice so let's heat it up the temperature is too high check the system the temperature is too high. Check the system. The temperature is too high. Check the system. This method is good for alerting, but it can be also used on some other applications. So feel free to tweak it and make it suitable to your needs and import it in some other projects that we are working on. So let's see how we can do the project. Here are the things that we are going to need for this experiment. We need the ESP32 development board, the MAX6675 module with K-type thermocouple, Arduino IDE with ESP32 support installed, and an Android smartphone. Here is the schematic that I use. Pause the video and do it. You can use some other pins if you need to, but make sure that you change the code as well. Download or clone the code from this repo. I'll leave a link down in the description, so check it out. When you do that, upload the code to the board. And the last thing that we need to do is to download the Android app that I published on Play Store. Also, the link is going to be down in the description. Go to your Bluetooth settings and pair the phone with the board. And go to the text to speech menu that I added. So thank you guys for watching. That was everything that I've got. I'll continue working on the Android app and the code. So I'll post videos related to that. So if you want to follow the progress, you can subscribe to my channel. Also, if you've got some ideas, feel free to comment down below. So I will use all your ideas and maybe we can create something interesting together. So thank you. And we are going to see each other in one of our next videos. Bye-bye.